In this video, I'm going to show you three great AI tools that are for free that you can use in your website design. And of course, we're all getting on this bandwagon. Let's jump in on the first one, which is designer.microsoft.com. I'm very skeptical about AI, but the first time I used this one, I couldn't find fault with it. I'm going to show you what I had done. The first thing I did is add an image of myself, not a very good image. And by doing so, it's already going to generate some thumbnails or images or what kind of posters it wants. But of course, that's not what I want to use it for. Me not looking at my very best, but at least we've got some great designs going on here. What I'll do is I'll go and give it some command. And what I want to do is create a cover for one of my YouTube videos, a landscape 19 by 1080 cover for YouTube on the three free AI tools for web design. Let's make web design one word and go ahead and click on generate. In some cases, the AI may give you a response that something is wrong on their side. All you do, if you see that, just click generate, try again. Oh, wow, look at that. Most of these are templates and you're going to see often when you use the same kind of concept again and again that you're going to get more or less the same results every time. But this is still at the very beginning stages and remember, this is for free. In this case, I think just clicking on this one, it will give you a good idea. Let's view it a little bit bigger. Not the best photo course in the world, but from here you can go ahead and download it and you also have some editing functions. The next one, which is great for backgrounds, is actually called background.lol. The only problem I have with this one is that the images are extremely small. I created this one futuristic Mars landscape with a flag of a panda. Of course, I don't see the panda there, but let's create something new. Calm atmosphere with spa elements. This could be great if you're creating a website for a spa or a hair and booty salon and you need some kind of image in a column background. Let's see what background.lol delivers for us. Oh, wow. I am completely blown away by that one. I wasn't expecting that at all. But as I said, just be aware of the caveat here. And that is if you download this image, this is the size. Hopefully we can get something much bigger in the future. But look at that. You can throw it easily in the background. I wouldn't use it as a main image, but people wouldn't know that you were creating this little free app to generate this for you. The world is blowing us all away. The last one is YouTube TLDR. And for those of you who don't know, TLDR, too long, didn't read. What it does when you have a YouTube video that's especially very long is that you take the link, enter it here, and it will give you a summary. And my socks were blown off completely again when I saw this. The world is just surprising me at every corner. I'm going to take one of my own videos, this one, open Facebook Messenger, and then click on share, grab the link, add it here, and hit TLDR it. It's going to give me a transcript first of my entire video over here, amazing. And then you can go to summary you will note that it says it will take one minute for every hour of video. So it's still working there. And then there are pro plans. So you are limited to a certain length of video in a day, as well as how many minutes per day. But look at this, and I'm going to read it. This video explains how to add a link to a Facebook Messenger account on a website, which allows people to instantly message you through Facebook Messenger by clicking on the link. The process involves adding a simple link with m.me followed by your Facebook profile name or business page to an icon or other part of the website. I'm not even going to finish it because this is the second time I've tried it and this summary is different. It still contains all the information that is in the video, but it didn't just use a carbon copy. It's actually giving me a different response this time. Why is this great? You can use this to quickly filter through many videos on the same topic to condense the information you need. Also, if you're like me and you want to do a blog on your own video, you can use this to generate those blogs for your website. Amazing. Now let's put our jazz hands together. Give it a round of applause. Remember to like this video if you found it useful. And you're going to see me bringing in a lot of this in the future also in my web designs. From me, JP, until next time, take care.